Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Place Academy for Civil Services. It's a video session on daily news and editorial analysis dated 7th of December. Through this video session, I'll be discussing the important news and editorial both from the Hindu and Indian Express. The analysis and the editorial of the news will help especially the aspirant of civil services examination, state public service commission examination and one day examination conducted by various state and union agencies. So the analysis will help you to understand the news from the examination perspective, which is pretty relevant in the upcoming examination as well. So let's get started with the analysis. Before I start the discussion, I'll give you the highlights of the news. Then we'll proceed further with the detailed analysis of the news one by one. So the first important news for the day is about the new bill that has been proposed. Actually, Parliament ne nahi bill proposed ki. This is a JNK Assembly Reservation and Reorganization Bill. We'll see the detail to that bill provisions. The second important news is about the Special Inquiry Committee of the Parliament from the text and context page of the Hindu. The third important news talks about the Garba, which has been recognized as an intangible heritage in the UNESCO list. The second last news talks about the AICT, that is A going to regulate the part of BB and BSA program in the country. And we'll conclude the session with editorial that talks about India and Italy relationship we have seen in the recent time they have been more cementing in the part of relationship between both countries so what are the specific areas the countries are collaborating and actually making an engagement will drive down and understand that how India and Italy can make further changes so let's get started with a detailed analysis of the news one by one so the first important news talks about the JNK reservation reorganization amendment bill 2023 something very important you know, that from the time being when actually Jammu and Kashmir state was you know, the, the three article 370 specifically baat kare, article 370 was abrogated and new uh, two union territories was there the, the Kashmir and the Ladakh so this become again important for the part jahan pe ye reorganization or reservation bill ke through jo logo ki representations hai unko badhane ki koshish ki gayi hai Ministry of Home Affair has actually come up with the detailed part because when it comes to JNK, when it comes to UK, when it comes to internal security, the Ministry of Home Affair is a nodal body. So what are the details? First, you need to understand the background. So this particular bill was actually introduced in July itself. So July 2023 was introduced kya gaya tha? in the lower house, lower house, especially is the Rajya Sabha. This is called lower house. और यहाँ पे रिजर्वेशन को लेकर के स्पेसिफिकली जो स्टेट असेंबलीज हैं एंड द रिजर्वेशन आल्सो पर्टेन्स टू द एरिया लाइक जॉब प्रोफेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट फॉर द यूटी ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड स्पेसिफिकली दिस इज फॉर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड नॉट फॉर लद्दाख बिकॉज इफ यू गेट अ क्वेश्चन इन प्रॉब्लम एग्जामिनेशन कि या कैसे लद्दाख के लिए भी है नो दिस इज ओनली स्पेसिफाइड टू द जम्मू एंड कश्मीर रीजन Now, reservation bill ki, as I've told you, there are two bills that has been tabled by the Home Minister. One was for the JNK Reservation Amendment Bill and other is the Reorganization Bill, right? So, Reorganization ki baat, iske baat karenge. First, we'll see what are the reservations that has been brought in by the government. So, first, the Jammu and Kashmir Reservation Bill amend the Jammu and Kashmir Reservation Act of 2004. इससे पहले जो रिजर्वेशन की प्रोसीजर्स थी जो गाइडलाइन थी वो 2004 के रूल्स के हिसाब से चल रही थी जहाँ पे रिजर्वेशन इन जॉब एंड एडमिशन टू प्रोफेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट टू द मेंबर ऑफ शेड्यूल कास्ट सी द बैकवर्ड क्लासेस द शेड्यूल कास्टेस्ट एंड द शेड्यूल ट्राइब विल बी टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन बिकॉज दीज आर द कम्युनिटी विच हैज नॉट बीन प्रॉपरली रिप्रेजेंटेटेड दिस इज वॉट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ लेट हैज एक्चुअली रियलाइज and the bill substitute the weak and underprivileged classes is terms ko replace kar di gayi hai with the other backward classes such as government from time to time deletes definition of weak and underprivileged classes now they will be called as other backward classes or the backward classes instead of speaking out like weak and underprivileged which is a negative tone word now agar baat kare reorganization amendment bill 2023 ki reorganization basically for call for the readjustment of seats right seats uh, and even the representation which is given in the legislative assembly right so the act 2019 specify the number of seats for the jammu and kashmir legislative assembly to 83 jo ki exclude karti hai pok ke jo pak occupied kashmir se उसमें ये एक्सक्लूजन की जाती है नाउ विद दिस पर्टिकुलर रीऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिल 
six of those seats will be reserved specifically for the scheduled caste and none will be there for the scheduled tribe. Now the bill increased this to 90. Abhi jo recent changes like gayi hai, jo reorganization ki gayi hai, usme 90 ki gayi. From 83, now it has been made to 90, where seven seats will reserve for SC and nine seats will reserve for ST. So this was the earlier provision. Make sure if in an examination you get some statement about this alien feature. आपको पता होना चाहिए कि अभी के जो रीसेंट चेंजेस है उसमें क्या की गई है पहले 83 सीट्स थी इसको अब 90 किया गया जहां पे पहले सिर्फ एससी के रिजर्वेशंस थी और एसटी की कोई भी रिजर्वेशन नहीं थी वहां पे रिजर्वेशन एसटी के लिए भी बढ़ाई गई है सो दीस आर सम ऑफ द मेजर चेंजेस दैट हैव बीन ब्रॉट इन थ्रू द जेएनके रीऑर्गेनाइजेशन अमेंडमेंट बिल नाउ दिस बिल आल्सो इनेबल द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर दिस इज अगेन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू बी नोटेड जो वहां पे एलजी होंगे the, the part of Jammu and Kashmir will nominate two members of the Kashmiri migrant to the assembly and one must be women. This is a mandate which is there in the bill. Additionally, the bill enabled the LG to nominate the, to assembly one member from representation which is from the POK. Jo bhi displaced persons hai, unke representation park occupied Kashmir's may be ki jayegi. To, to you know, basically the people who were displaced during 1947 uh, or 48 ke war ho, या फिर 65 या 77 71 के जो वार हैं उन लोगों को भी प्रॉपर रिप्रेजेंटेशंस की कोशिश की गई है फ्रॉम द रीऑर्गेनाइजेशन नो टू अ इनिशियल फ्रंट यू नो लुकिंग एट द द पार्ट ऑफ प्राइमा फेसेज ऑफ दिस बिल दिस फील दैट दिस इज एन इंक्लूसिव बिल बट यहां पे एक चीज है जो आपको ध्यान में रखनी है सी फॉर एनी स्टेट और फॉर एनी यूनियन टेरिटरीज वी फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट वांट रेगुलेशन एंड Regulations should be coming up with the elections. वहाँ पे elections process के through ये सारी चीजें अगर की जाएगी तो ज़्यादा अच्छी होगी. See, when it comes to UT, the entire regulations come under the central government with the part of LG. LG is again a one who is appointed. Lieutenant Governor की बात करें या Governor, they are the agent of the central government. So यहाँ पे अभी भी representation नहीं है. Neither there is Chief Minister. Nor there is election. So to a larger extent, I'm, I'm giving you the other perspective, the other side of this particular initiative by the government. So if you get the main, you can say that in a democratic setup, the election is empowered by the citizen. So you should also think about the government. This is a different perspective apart from the news that we are discussing. But you should know these important provisions. Now, if you look at the data, I mean, uh, some of the precise information, the factual information with regards to the JNK, so the UT of JNK with an area, the total population, and when it comes to the UT of Ladakh, this is a total area, which is uh, pretty less than the area of Jammu and Kashmir, but the total population is also less than right? These are the other details. If you want, you can take screenshot for the revision purposes. Now, the other news, that is the role of Special Inquiry Committee of the Parliament. This is from the text and context picture of the Hindu. Recently, Ethics Committee, ne, jo Trinmool Congress ki MP hai, uh, the name of the MP is Mahua Mitra. So, she was actually alleged for an unethical conduct and a breach of privileges. There was high voltage drama that took place. We are not concerned about that episode. Uh, we are more concerned on the part of the committees and how the estimate committee, the privilege committees actually functions, right? So we'll see a detail to that. But before that, you need to understand what is the role of ethics committee. Now, is tarah ke jo committees hain, unki sawal prelims mein direct puche jate hain, specifically in the MCQ based questions. So this was actually formed in 2000. 2000 mein formation ki gai thi ethics committee ke which overlook into the part for moral and ethical ground. जो मोरल और एथिकल ग्राउंड होती है केसेस की जो अनएथिकल प्रैक्टिसेस होते हैं उनके लिए इसको रेफर्ड किया जाता है द कमिटी एक्चुअली यू नो टेक हाउस मेंबर एंड इवन द मेंबर आउटसाइड व्हिच इज रेफर्ड बाय द स्पीकर अगर स्पीकर ने किसी को रेफर्ड किया है सो दे विल बी आल्सो अंडर द एंबिट ऑफ द एथिक्स कमिटी और एक प्रिलिमिनरी इन्वेस्टिगेशंस की जाती है इफ अ कंप्लेन इज फाइल्ड राइट द कमिटी सपोर्ट्स द मेंट्स रिपोर्ट टू स्पीकर स्पीकर ऑफ ईदर ऑफ द हाउसेस who is then presented for the house consideration. This is how the things go and the member, either the MP or a minister can again be, you know, uh, he can be uh, removed from his positions or his ineligibility ko bhi maha pe sabit kiya ja sakta. So he, he can be actually removed, right? So it must be noted that uh, the part of unethical term is actually not defined. Agar baat kare unethical terms ki, uh, khas karke uh, ethics committee mein ye cheeze actually mein define nahi ki gai hai. 
इट लेफ्ट द कमिटी टू डिसाइड अपॉन एन अनिथिकल एक्ट तो ये कमिटी को ही डिसाइड करना होगा इट विल बी द पेरोगेटिव ऑफ द एथिक्स कमिटी दैट टू डिसाइड अपॉन दैट वॉट एक्चुअली इज अनिथिकल सो दिस गिव दम वाइड पावर वाइड एम्बेट इन डिसाइडिंग अपॉन वॉट एक्चुअली इज अथिक वट एक्चुअली इज अनिथिक ना प्रिवलेज कमेटी की अगर बात करें प्रिवलेज कमेटी को स्पेशल इंक्वायरी कमेटी भी कहते हैं दिस इज नोन एज एस आई सी एंड दे एग्जामिन मोर सीरियस एक्विजिशन अपॉन अ मेंबर राइट तो मेंबर की जो सदस्यता है उसको भी खत्म की जा सकती है दे कैन बी सस्पेंशन ऑफ अ मेंबरशिप एंड इन 1951 फिफ्टी वन देर वॉज अ स्पेशल मेंबर कमेटी दैट वॉज नो गिल्ड टू दमर प्रमोटिंग द बिजनेस क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज रिटर्न टू द फाइनेंशियल बेनिफिट्स एंड इट वॉज अ स्पेशल कमेटी दैट इंक्वायर्ड इन टू द कैश फॉर क्वेरी स्कैम इन टू थाउजेंड फाइव जहाँ पे दस एम पीज ऑफ लोकसभा वे रिकमेंडेड फॉर द एक्सपल्शन तो एक्सपेल्ड करने के लिए भी एक्चुअली रिकमेंडेशन दी गई एंड फर्दर एक्शन वॉज दी गई नाउ इज एक्सपल्शन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल दिस इज अ बिग क्वेश्चन दिस इज समथिंग एन इंटरप्रिटेशन क्वेश्चन रेलिवेंट फॉर द मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन तो आर्टिकल वन जीरो वन इफ यू लुक एट आर्टिकल वन जीरो वन दिस आउटलाइन एन एम पी टू वेकेट सीट्स Uh, such as voluntary reservations, disqualification, or continued absence from the 60th sitting. This is the only part that has been specifically mentioned in the Constitution, right? But expulsions. If we talk about it, it is not even mentioned anywhere. This point to be noted. It is not mentioned anywhere. And Supreme Court has also given conflicting opinions. If we talk about Raja Ram Pal versus Honorable Speaker, ki, they have said that 101 uphold the Parliament to expel member on the breach of privilege. This is one state, uh, one argument. The other argument in the Amarinder Singh versus Special Committee in the Punjab Vidhan Sabha Court held. The Honorable Supreme Court has held. that expulsion by the state assembly is unconstitutional so in one point the court has upheld in terms of breach of privilege and on the same hand on the state government it says that it is unconstitutional from the state assembly to do so so there's two contradictory opinion coming coming directly from the honorable supreme court and it held that the scenario moved for a state the objective of the parliamentary democracy and moving ahead with the other news where garba was included in the unesco intangible culture heritage list so unesco has recently approved gujarat garba folk dance in its representations of the list of intangible cultural heritage which is known as ich for humanity something very important prelims ke liye ye kafi zyada relevant hai i'll tell you all other 14 part of the intangible cultural heritage that has been there in the unesco list so provision of inclusions ki baat kare jo intangible cultural heritage hoti hai uski kis tarah se process hoti hai the inclusion has been made in the provisions in the 2023 in the convention the the, the conventions on the safeguard for intangible cultural heritage jo 18th meeting hui hai usme ye decide kiya gaya tha that gujarat's garba will be taken into consideration and this is the 15th ich एलिमेंट दैट हैज ज्वाइंड इंडिया इससे पहले और फोर्टीन भी हैं जो एक्चुअल में इंटेंजिबल लिस्ट पे सुमार हुए ना बिफोर आई प्रोसीड विद फोर्टीन डिटेल समथिंग ब्रीफ अबाउट गर्वा गर्वा इज अ ट्रेडिशनल फॉल डांस ऑरिजिनेटेड इन द स्टेट ऑफ गुजरात आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ यू मस्ट बी अवेयर ऑफ दिस बेसिक्स जिनको नहीं पता है कि मेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस दिस कैन बी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मेनी अदर वन डे एग्जामिनेशन एज वेल इट इज प्रीडोमेंटली हेल्ड ड्यूरिंग नवरात्रीज and garba music is organized as a traditional folk tunes the rhythms and the dances often accompanied by the music features with the instruments like dhol tabla and traditional string instruments the garba fosters social equality and diluting the socio economic gender and religious structure now something is specifically important for prelims examination aap se yahan pe do tarah se sawal puche ja sakte hain the first part that can be asked ki kon kon se isme list of items hai जो इनटेंजिबल कल्चरल हेरिटेज साइट में है एंड द सेकेंड फैक्टर और द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दैट कैन बी आस्ट आपसे सिर्फ और सिर्फ सॉन्ग से रिलेटेड सवाल पूछे जा सकते हैं कि कौन कौन से फोक सॉन्ग्स जो हैं वो इस लिस्ट में है आइडेंटिफाई दैट सो इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि आपको ये पूरे चौदह पता होने चाहिए जो फिफ्थ फिफ्टींथ है दैट इज गरबा सो फर्स्ट इज राम लीला देन वी हैव योगा वेदिक चैंटिंग कुटियम संस्कृत थिएटर ऑफ केरला रामायण इज अगेन मिद यूटी that is a ritual dance of kerala kalibi folk chhau dance from eastern india buddhist chanting on ladakh sankrita is a kind of the the, the singing drumming and amp of manipur traditional brass and copper utensil making of punjab 
Navaroj, it's the part which is called where the new season starts, Kumbh Mela and the Durga Puja of Kolkata. So these are the part of list of ICH representing India. This 14 list hai, or the 50th hai, that is the Garba dances. So make sure you folk dances or cultural dances ke hisab se bhi ye dekh le ki kaun kaun se dances actually mein is list mein hai because directly aap se exam mein ye sawal puche ja sakte hai now moving ahead aicetc uh, is actually moving to regulate the part of bca and bba program the all india institute of technical education will regulate the bba program coming from the next academic year that is 24 and 25 so what is the new approval process that has been brought in by AICT? So they have said there's a handbook that has been released, handbook ya fir manual aap bol sakte, that has been released and the, uh, the council will be actually making some changes. Wo kya kya changes honge? First, they will be extending the approval for three years for high performance institutions. So unko jo approval milti AICT ki that can be approved for three more years. Reducing the compliance requirement of land document and NOC, like NOC sub a subject to certification which is there you know after which the certification goes on in campus uh, introducing off campusing for the well performing institutions under the affiliated universities if we talk about universities ki, there are 8261 institutions which is regulated or total 30.49 lakh students and engineering mein hai, or different domain ki students and AICT approved institutions mein the AICT has also come up with the norm with granting the autonomy to the political colleges from the next year. So these institutions will to a larger extent call for promoting well-being in the society, promoting education so that the actual beneficiaries are getting the right quality educations. Now moving ahead with the editorial for the day that is partnering in the a certain time. This is between India and Italy something very important. We have seen that the relationship has taken a toll. Both countries are looking forward to cement their relationship. So we'll see detail to that or kis kis ko sector pe specifically highlight ki gai hai dono countries ke beech mein. So we'll look into the bilateral relationship and partnership, maritime security, Indo-Pacific, jo dono country ke liye badi concern hai, people to people connect, space sector and the way forward. Now, uh, if you look at the relationship between India and Italy, specifically ye dono countries ki beech mein jo relations hai, I mean this 2023 actually marked the part of relationship between two countries as a 75 anniversaries ye mark ki gai hai. And the Prime Minister of Italy with the Prime Minister of India has marked this a breakthrough relationship between two countries. Dono countries ne joint statement diye the jahan pe kuch important bilateral dialogues ko aur jyada badhana you know they, they're looking forward to augment the part of defense sector space sector connectivity and mobility and energy transitions these two countries are actually the part of g20 maybe in key participations ko ensure kiya gaya tha. and a detailed sops and the part of uh, the further you know how the clean energy how the other sectors will be moving along with defense space and connectivity was discussed in detail now, bilateral relationship or partnership ki baat kare, Italy or India ke beech mein, they are actually making a strategic change. But dono countries ne free, safe or open Indo-Pacific ki bhi baat ki hai. Indo-Pacific is something which has been always India, you know, important for India because of the China's dominance. India ne hamisa se counter karne ke liye, jitne bhi initiatives ho sakte hai, wo liye hai. India has took important, set. Or Italy ke agar baat kare, specifically they have the enlarged Mediterranean. And geopolitically, which is, you know, Italy uh, is like neighboring to Mediterranean Sea. So, there is also a lot of relevant for relevant in Indo-Pacific in their specific rules. Italy sits center to the Mediterranean Sea and act as a natural bridge between the Indo-Pacific. Now, if you look at the trade part, if you talk about the trade valuations between the two countries, or if you talk about the trade valuations in the two countries, especially the sector like iron, steel, electricity, machinery, boilers, machinery, organ, chemical, aluminium, Petrol product, vehicles, iron, steel, ye kuch details hai as per their value. And the total India's export for 8.7 billion or import ki baat kare, that is 5.6. Uh, specifically, these data are relevant for the student who will be appearing for PSIR optional. Uh, to aap pe data driven exams mein tek sakte. Now, maritime security and Indo-Pacific specifically baat kare, dono countries ne prioritize ki hai ki kis tarah se aage badne ki zarurat hai. And even uh, Mumbai, mein, jo ITS Mashuni, that has also reached to 
uh, this was an Indian Navy ship that has reached to India. और कॉपरेशन मेरी टाइम में काफ़ी ज़्यादा बढ़ाई गई हैं दोनों कंट्रीज़ ने कॉलेब्रेट करने की बात की है इंडो पैसिफिक में एंड दे आर आल्सो लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड फॉर अ प्री कंडीशन एंड डेवलपिंग ट्रेड एंड कनेक्टिविटी बिटवीन टू कंट्रीज स्पेसिफिकली देर इज़ वन इनिशिएटिव नोन एज आई एम ई सी आई हैव ऑलरेडी मेड अ डिस्कशन टू दिस इंडिया मिडल ईस्ट इकोनॉमिक यूरोपियन कॉरिडोर दे हैव लॉन्च ड्यूरिंग द जी ट्वेंटी जहाँ पे इंडिया ने एक्चुअली नए रूट को एक्सप्लोर करने की कोशिश की है थ्रू एशियन यूरो and definitely italy will be the country which will be mutually benefited with this initiative now people to people contact is another major factor so it india and italy are also looking forward for people to people contact during um, india's external affair visit jo uh, india ke external affair minister unhone jo visit kiya tha they said migration mobility agreement was signed this is something crucial for both countries and they are also looking forward that india ke jo diaspora hai european unions mein even they are growing with numbers of student and workers so we need to further ensure that people to people connect a you know work in a manner where they are actually been nurtured as well so the agreement will provide a framework for improve mobility between both countries now space sector mein bhi collaborations hui hain wahan ki jo space agencies are there asi so it says that the space sector is something which is doing well italy has also signed the initiative जहाँ पे इंडियन स्पेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने इटली के असिस्टेंस में इंडिया दोनों कंट्रीज में कॉलेबरेट से हेल्प करने की बात की है द चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन दैट वाज अ सक्सेसफुल मिशन बाय द इंडिया जहाँ पे साउथ पोल में एक्चुअली में इंडिया ने लॉन्च किया था अपने मिशंस को तो ये भी साइंटिफिक कम्युनिटी इटली के लिए भी काफ़ी हेल्पफुल रही है ए एस आई दैट इज़ द इटालियन स्पेस एजेंसीज आर एक्चुअली वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स मूवमेंट जहाँ पे वो इंस्टीट्यूशन यूनिवर्सिटी रिसर्च सेंटर एरो स्पेस एंड अदर कॉलेबरेटिंग एफर्ट्स के साथ काम कर रहे हैं स्पेसिफिकली इटली इज़ अ कंट्री विच इज़ लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड विद अ पार्ट जहाँ पे स्पेस सेक्टर में बहुत ज़्यादा कॉलेबरेट की जा सकती है इंडिया के साथ अ जॉइंट डिक्लेरेशन वॉर ऑल्सो साइन बिटवीन द हेड्स ऑफ ए एस आई एन इशो टू एक्सप्लोर द अर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन ऑल्सो फॉर द हेलियो फिजिक्स तो ये कुछ एरियाज हैं जहाँ पे इंडिया और इटली मिल के एक्सप्लोर कर रहे हैं ना वे फॉरवर्ड की अगर बात करें The Italy and India collaboration is something which is very important. Multilateral issues पे discussions हुई हैं. Both countries are looking forward with a new global agenda, right? So global agenda पे discussions हैं. India and Italy are actually uh, looking forward with global south, global security that is poised with the urgent contemporary issues. Or Italy is being preparing for G20, uh, G7 presidency 2024 में. जो कि इंडिया के जो ग्लोबल कंसर्न्स है नॉट ओनली फॉर इंडिया बट ग्लोबल कंसर्न्स को एड्रेस करेगी और जो एस्पिरेशंस इंडिया में जी ट्वेंटी में एक्चुअल में हुई है जो कंडक्ट हुई है और भी जो बेस्ट प्रैक्टिसेस हैं उनको भी इन एक्शन में लाएंगी ऐसा उम्मीद करना है इंडिया और इटली के रिलेशनशिप के बीच में सो दिस इज समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दिस आर्टिकल वॉज एक्चुअली रिटर्न बाय द एम्बेसडर टू इंडिया हुज फ्राम इटली तो ये काफ़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है कि इस तरह के इंसाइट्स पॉइंट्स आपको पता हों If you're writing a question on India and Italy bilateral relationship, you can use definitely some of the important points relevant for the examination. Moving ahead with the answers and discussion for yesterday questions, जो पहला सवाल है उसके correct options थे B, इसमें options is one correct है और options two correct है. The options three is eight correct. So fiber optic के बारे में सवाल. The second question is about the air quality index. यहाँ पे options B correct है. That statement one is incorrect and statement two is only correct. Today's MCQ for practice. The first question is from the National Crime Record Bureau in CRB. पे UPSC ने already prelims में सवाल पूछे हुए हैं. आपको बताना इनमें से कौन से statement correct है. The report shows declining trend in the crime 2021. The crime rate registered as per lakh population has declined. The crime rate against women has decreased. The reporting of the cyber crime has increased significantly. So you can be the part of writing answer in the comment section. आपको करना क्या है? सिर्फ question number one लिखे. अपने जो करेक्ट ऑप्शन हैं वो आप हमें कमेंट सेक्शन में लिख करके जरूर बताएं द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे इज अबाउट द परचेजिंग मैनेजर इंडेक्स इट पब्लिश एवरी मंथ द बिजनेस एंटिटी इंडिकेटर फॉर बोथ द मैनुफैक्चरिंग एंड सर्विस सेक्टर यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट अबाउट द आंसर सिंपल क्वेश्चन नंबर टू उसके बाद जो आपके करेक्ट ऑप्शन हैं वो यू फील इज करेक्ट विद लॉजिकल रीजनिंग यू कैन कम अप विद द कंक्लूजन एंड राइट योर आंसर इन द कमेंट सेक्शन डाउन बिलो So this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the MCQ questions. If you have any other concern, queries about test series, admissions, programs, you can reach out to us. We'll be more than happy to assist you. For time being, I'm signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying connected.